Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about what it is like for the life of an introverted person in school. I myself personally am an introverted person for most of you who actually know me. Um, growing up, I was in a private Catholic school for seven years from kindergarten through sixth grade and I would always be with the same people every single day so I kind of was used to that and comfortable with that so when I transferred to a public school in when I was in middle school it was a huge change for me it's I it was a it was practically like a nightmare to me I was nervous all the time. I I got that feeling in your stomach when you're nervous. I was always I was always like that in class all the time for some reason. It just I felt so uncomfortable being in that environment. And I would oh I would never talk to anybody except for my best friend who transferred with me from the Catholic school to middle school. I would only talk to her during lunchtime and maybe one other person. And I never liked to be called on in class. I hated it. And when they, if they asked me to try to read something, I would stutter or I would just like, my voice would get all raspy for some reason. I don't know if that was because I was nervous or something. Um... Then when I, when I was in high school, I got a little better, but I still didn't like to be called on during class. Um, it's, but I, and I still barely talked in class. I would maybe talk to one or two people, and it was only because, like, most of the time they would say something to me, but... They, and they were, they would always say, oh, why are you so shy? Why aren't you talking? And I'd be like thinking, well, what am I going to talk to you guys about? I mean, I don't really know you, so I don't know what you like to talk about. That's, that's how some introverted people are. Or some people just don't, they just, I just don't want to talk sometimes. Like I like to think most of the time I don't want to be talking 24 seven. It's just how I am. Um, Oh, I missed something. Um, another thing, a big thing that happened to me when I was in middle school, a boy actually asked me out, but he had somebody else ask me out for him, and I, I finally was like, okay, yeah, fine. I did not talk to him the whole time that we were supposedly going out. That's how shy I was. I would not talk to the guy that was supposedly my boyfriend. So because I didn't talk to him for a whole week, he broke up with me because he... <laughs> I, I thought it was kind of funny because when I talked to other people about it, they're like, well, that's kind of ridiculous, but... <laughs> yeah, it that was a little weird incident, but that's how shy I was. Like, even, even guys that I liked, I wouldn't talk to them because of how shy I was or I would act all you know and would, wouldn't look won't even look people in the eye because of how shy I am um but things that help me a lot I guess become more outgoing than I was is probably my job because I I am a host at Red Lobster where I live and I have to talk to new people every single day. I have to smile and I have to greet them and ask them how their day was and tell them thank you for visiting us today and stuff like that. Um, another thing was my boyfriend. He noticed how shy I was and he helped me become out of come out of my shell. He told me that I needed to talk more. I needed to. He actually tells me, like, oh, why aren't you talking? You need to talk more. I'm like, okay, I'll talk more. And he tell, tells me that I, I need to hang out with my friends. I need to do this and that. 
because he doesn't want me to become a loner. When I mean, I don't want to become a loner, so. Um, and now that I've, since I'm in college now, I am in, like, I meet, I meet new people, like, all the time like every semester I talk to new people in my classes at least I, I talk to at least three or four new people and I like I make new friends now all the time um I still get nervous talking in front of class I don't think I'm probably going to get over that until I actually get into my profession which I'm I want to be a an English teacher for high school students so obviously I'm gonna have to get over that sometime soon but yeah this is this is this basically my story of being an introverted person um, I'm still trying to become more outgoing it's if you like this video leave a like um, if you like my youtube channel please subscribe and be sure to watch uh, my previous videos that I posted, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.